Okay. All right. Um, this is this is uh, the next chapter of the N sixty four quest, and it's time for Mortal Kombat Mythologies Sub Zero. Um, started on the Game Shark screen because apparently the game starts for you if you just boot it up, which is great. Um, and also to have full disclosure for the sake of disclosure, I know that this game is not only bad, but also basically unfair and impossible. So I have one cheat code on. It's the only cheat code that was on this game shark when I fired it up and it's on, un uh, unlimited lives. And I hope that I can still manage to beat this game with just that because that still requires me to, to go through everything and beat it. That's what I. That's how I usually feel about doing cheats like that. Is if you have unlimited lives, you still have to beat everything. You just, you don't have to start from a ridiculous. Yeah, fuck you, Avalanche software. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this to the easiest possible setting, and also just to be safe, put the continues all the way up. But I have unlimited lives on. And just so everybody knows what the controls of this game are like before I start, notice that there's there's a button that says turn. The B button is to turn because Sub-Zero is going to be facing one direction like in a typical Mortal Kombat fight. However, if you keep moving him this way, he will not turn around to face enemies. You have to manually do that yourself. There's an idea of how shitty this game was as a concept. It should not be a thing. That should not be a thing. But then the rest of the controls, so you have an action button, you have the turn button. Those are the main buttons. Those are the main buttons on the controller. A and B are the action, activate a switch or something like that. And turn around. And then high punch, low punch, high kick, low kick, run and block so fuck yeah. okay now of course uh make sure everybody knows this this is um since this is the n64 we won't even get the luxury of the god awful uh live action cutscenes that are present in the ps1 version did i just all right So when it started a demo mode before, it wasn't even this level, so it just, apparently it just launches you into a random level if you leave it in attract mode. And then the best thing ever is that you can't actually stop it. You can, I tried to pause the game and just get back to the menu and I couldn't do it. And yeah, there you go. That's uh, an example for you. Right, so I have to press the button to pick up items that are floating in the air. Really? Really? <sighs> Turn around. There's no way you're ever going to get used to that. Oh. Hold on. I'll fix the... Huh. It's strange, because I do have health bars on here. Oh, wait. Got this? Yeah, it should be on there. Yeah, if it's if you pause it, uh, if you pause it, it disappears. So that's great. Good to know too, though. It's good to know that. Oh my 
my fucking god. Oh my god. That's one hell of a run animation. No, come back. Help me. Oh my god, make a fucking move so I can uh, react to it. Really? <laughs> that... Yep, that's it. Don't care. Don't care. Nah. Okay, I only got brushed by it that time. Are they are they timed or are they reacting to me? <sighs> nope, B doesn't do anything except turn you around and do the worst possible thing you want in that situation. God. What? Okay. If this is a beat em up, you're supposed to be able to just go punch people. It's not it's not supposed to be a fucking tactical evaluation every time you start a fight. Okay. Hey, he's got a sword. Good. Checkpoint. Alright. Do I have a... Do I have an items menu or something? Alright, the screen should be moving at a faster rate than my character is walking. Sure. Come on. Get over here. No, that's not my line. No, he's gonna be the only person you can play. It's not a it's not an adventure where you take a regular uh any old Mortal Kombat character. It's an adventure specifically about Sub Zero. Oh! Really? Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna beat this level today. That's... It's the mission. Whatever whatever constitutes a level, that's what I'm gonna do. Not today, Junior. Oh, and another one spawns behind him. There's experience? There's experience in this, like an RPG. Holy fucking shit. Once once you press the hold on. All right, it feels maybe it's just the controls being that bad, but it feels like once you press the run button, like he has to go a certain distance because I felt like I was trying to stop before that second one. But apparently not so. No. Out of my way. Nope. He should he should be attacking me, but at that time I'm actually grateful he's not. Oh! You can't walk by. You have to run. You have to run. This is good. This is a learning experience. How did they not figure out during, like, alpha testing of this game that Mortal Kombat, phys Mortal Kombat control style does not work in a beat-em-up? 
Like you have to you have to imagine them playing this game and and thinking of how how No, no. Oh my god. That's <laughs> Out of my way. No, god. You have to stop in this tiny little safe spot between the two of them, but you have to run to get past the first one. <sighs> Stop this. Really? This is this is a fucking nightmare. How? Now I can't even get past the first one? Naturally. Naturally. I don't even understand what I'm doing differently. <laughs> I I don't understand what I've actually done differently to to not be able to get past that. It doesn't It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do. No. Yep. Can't walk. Can't walk. We already established this, but I thought I thought I might try it. I thought I might try to do it. Why doesn't he die? No. Oh, shoot Jesus. This is the worst thing. This is like here, here's here's the the feeling you get from this. It's it's like somebody realized that no, that's not possible. It's it's like somebody was playing NES games. Some of the worst of the worst NES games, like some of the the most almost artistically bad NES games, like Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, like, like those games. Uh, like, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is a game that is so artistically bad that I find it fascinating, and that's why I own it. Just a game that, at every possible moment, makes the worst possible decision. And someone realized that at Midway and said, well, they did all these things so that they could make the game longer, and they did all these things so that people would keep trying to beat it, and that would be your longevity of the game. And someone didn't take one look at that and realize that games don't play like that anymore. That that that's a that's an archaic formula for making a game. And and we're like uh, we're talking about past one checkpoint of the first level right now. Mm -mm. Did I do it? Oh sweet lord, did I do it? Yes. I made it! Please give me a checkpoint sometime in the next... item. Is that... it's not health. Oh god, no! Come on! Oh, and another thing, they never fixed anything from Mortal Kombat Trilogy, like... They, as bad as that played on this system, they decided not to change a single, a single, like, one iota. No, the, I had a checkpoint, that's why I have the checkpoint from over here, 
but I have to get... A, there's no checkpoint between uh, these first Nightmare Pillars and the next set of Nightmare Pillars. Or whatever comes next, because I didn't die from Pillars last last run I did. Uh, I died... Fuck you! I died because uh, I also suck at fighting people in this game, because this is not a typical beat-em-up where you can just... You get you don't get overwhelmed in this game apparently through uh, quantity of enemies like you do in a beat 'em up, or because one of those enemies that you fight in one batch is uh, just a bad motherfucker, and you know you gotta strategize your way around it. It's every enemy is just a piece of shit, and they're gonna block, and they're gonna they're not gonna move until you move, which is you know which is kind of the way that like a, another beat 'em up would go. But, like, if you play Streets of Rage, the the enemies, you know, start moving once you get past a certain point, so on and so forth like that. But these guys, like, you enter into a mini Mortal Kombat fight, and the problem with that is that... Oh, God. The problem with that is that they're not reacting until you... Oh, my God. They don't move until you start moving, and you try to, you know, be mindful of everything that's going on around you, even if it's just, if there's one guy, or if there's two guys, or if there's a, a hazard, a stage hazard in there, and these guys don't care. So they'll give you, like, you know, fuck, I thought I had that with just walking. They'll give you, like, three seconds to think about what you're going to do. But they're going to be blocking the whole time, so... You know, it's not like you can really get them that way. You have to be, like, that good at Mortal Kombat in one... At, and, you know, that could with Sub-Zero, especially. To, uh... <laughs> to, to be able to, like, hold your own in the combat in this game. And then you have to add in all the bullshit stage hazards and platforming elements that don't work. They don't. I mean, I've I've been playing this game for like 15 minutes, and it's probably one of the worst controlling games I've ever played. Because it's because it's Mortal Kombat without changing anything about the controls scheme or the control feel, and trying to put platforming into it. I mean. Even Street Fighter would have been able to pull this off better, and technically Street Fighter did pull this off better when they made Street Fighter 2010. Because you know what they did? They didn't try to make Street Fighter the arcade game that was out at the time, the first one. This is uh, We're talking about the first one because that's the one that would have been at the time. And make a side game and have it you know, play just like the original one. No! Fuck you! I like how at this point, I, through all the times that I've fought these these henchmen dudes, I've only uh, pulled off apparently one combo, and that combo seemed very important um, because it it uh, gave me some experience points. I'm not sure how badly I'm gonna need those, but you know, oh great, no, fuck. See, the, th the thing about going through these pillars like that with that running is that I at first I thought it's like, oh, he has to run a set distance. That's actually kind of true. Because once I start going, uh, you know, that much, you know, to my left like this, you know, there's a very, very slim margin of error for how I can actually stop and have it be in between those two and not be hanging over in the way that knocks me back into the other one or some shit like that. Alright, so let's trigger that one. Yes. Alright, and then the next thing, I have to trigger this one and have it not knock me back like that. This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it wasn't a two-hit combo or anything like that. It didn't actually matter.
So I titled this video, <laughs> uh, it, pretty much, yeah, I think it does. Yeah, it does, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, you actually have to stop and do whatever the fuck you're gonna do that's gonna get you past that one. I, I, going into this, like, I, tr I tried to title this video with something interesting and say, uh, I said it's the second worst Mortal Kombat spinoff, and I can already tell that's not true. It is the absolute worst Mortal Kombat spinoff. Special Forces, Special Forces is boring. Um, Special Forces is unspectacular and has some bullshit going on for it, like, you know, the camera angle sucks and stuff like that. But Special Forces, for all the all the boredom in it, you know, for a Mortal Kombat game where it's actually, like, get it. Now, see, the thing is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die because I'm gonna lose whatever fights I'm in. Yay! What is this? What the fuck is this? That's the rope that was in the background of the of the floor above me. Does he just keep going? Uh, okay. No. No. That's not that's not fucking possible. Are you for real? Oh, fuck this game. <sighs> fuck this game, man. This is the this is the worst. Oh no. Not like that. Yeah! Fuck that rope! Fuck you, buddy. Ah! <laughs> no! Yes! Next room! What's in there? Have I been in here yet? Scorpion! Oh no! <laughs> This is a boss fight. This is probably not going to end well for me. Scorpion acts like everybody else. He doesn't even turn this into a Mortal Kombat game. No! Oh, no! Everyone knows I'm bad at Mortal Kombat, and there's no way I'm going to get out of this. <laughs> yes! No! No! <laughs> oh, thank you. This is a checkpoint. Oh, okay. That was my... That was... You could probably tell is that was my plan as soon as I realized I could use it. These enemies, they know their placement. They know exactly my range for every fucking move. Ah, he ducked it! Fuck you, Scorpion. Okay. He said spare me. And I didn't do that intentionally, but I did. And he just kind of just flopped on the ground there. <gasps> no! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was supposed to go up the rope. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's go up the rope now. Someone's gonna come out and get me too, I know.
Okay. Now let's do this from a height that I know I won't die. Okay. Oh, okay, it's a zipline thing. Alright. Yeah, so in, in the PlayStation version, these are live-action cutscenes, and they're actually, they give not a redeeming quality to this game, but they, uh, you know, they're entertaining for their badness. You can, you can find them on YouTube. You can probably just look that up right now and then don't watch any of the rest of this because it's, it's going to be awful. And these are, these are, uh, screenshots from those, those cutscenes from what I understand. See, like, this dude's just dressed up. Alright. See, I'm not going to press any buttons because I think that there was one. Ah, there's Quan Chi. So Quan Chi is a, a big story, a big element of this story. And yeah, I've seen clips of these. Um, if you play, like, I think it's Deadly Alliance. If you play these, you can kind of unlock this sort of crazy bullshit. Uh, and I think they might have mentioned it in the, the video that comes with Deception. I'm not a ninja, I'm a Lin Kuei. Scorpion was a ninja. Oh, so sorry to offend you. Your Japanese counterpart. Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's a great makeup job on uh, Quan Chi. <laughs> there wouldn't have been a battle except with all those other dudes. No, oh, that's probably they're probably Scorpion's henchmen, but still, saying that there would have been nobody in that temple. Why is new capitalized? <laughs> wow, this dude's already showing himself to be an untrustworthy piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, the only person keeping him from doing his job is the secondary guy who was supposed to do the job in case he failed. What if they killed each other? I'll bet, I'll bet Quan Chi, he probably set up all the, the pillars of death too. He's like, and what about the pillars? Oh, I couldn't make it too easy for you. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> yep. Probably. The K's in this the K's in the text look so weird because they look like they're always capitalized. Gross. <laughs> he looks so satisfied, too. Mm, yeah. I used the straight razor and all. I licked the blood off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Is that true? I guess I can trust you on that, except for the part where I totally can't trust you because you already showed me that I can't. 
But yeah, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> no, you can't! You cannot trust him! This is so obvious that you can't trust him from the scene that just happened. God! <laughs> this is gonna be the whole story. It's gonna be... Hey, I guess Quan Chi is not the most trustworthy person in the whole uh, Mortal Kombat mythos. The thing that we know he's not. But uh, I guess he was a new character at this point, so people would have looked at the guy with the uh, six-inch high collar and gray skin and been like, he seems like a good dude. They probably thought that about Shinnok, too. It's five words. I would I've read I've read the five words. Wow, this is so long. Cool. So if the Shirai Ryu are Japanese, where are the Lin Kuei from? I'm actually curious about that now, because it seems like they're establishing that it's they're all from Earth Realm, um, because he has to go to Nepal in the Himalayas and do all this shit. And I, I just realized that he said he's like, "Oh, your Japanese counterpart is he from? Does that make them from China, or?" Somewhere else in the area, I don't know. China, Mongolia, Nepal. I mean, he just said you have to go to Nepal, so I assume that they're not from Nepal. Whatever. Tibet. Taiwan. Even I don't trust myself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Gee, why is that? Maybe because you're not a good guy? <laughs> hmm. This has never, this has never been a, a part of any plot it won't be reused in any Mortal Kombat plots in the future, like Deception. Hmm. I'll get this uh, unsuspecting Earthrealm uh, warrior to go and destroy everything and kill everybody for me. And he'll think that he'll, he's doing a good thing. When I'm actually uh, doing a bad thing. Even though Raiden is probably going to go tell me to my face not to trust this guy. Uh... I'm gonna go ahead and not trust Raiden. Do not tell him about these elements that will make the cutscene even longer. Interestingly enough, Wind, uh... One of the bosses in this game is the Wind God, which is Fujin. Um... And the other three we'll pretty much never see again. But uh, I was reading the manual, because I saw the manual for it, uh, and it li literally says Fujin, the God of Wind. I'm like, oh, he's in later games. And then the other three had like pictures of the people, and I was like, these aren't people I know. Oh my god, I have to see that in, a, in the uh, live-action cutscenes, just... The green screen, <laughs> him on the rock wall. Can only imagine. I'm just waiting to save it, honestly, at this point, because I'm not going through any more of that bullshit. Oh my god, this is so long. Yes! Thank you! Saving. 
All right. The li live action cutscenes in the PS1 version. All right. Fuck this game. Uh, I'll see if I get any more used to it. And then maybe do, like, one more level on the stream. And ho I hope I'll finish it. I hope that I can adjust to this game and finish this game. But I don't know if that's going to happen because you just saw it. It's pretty fucking awful. Um, so, cool. We got started. I just want to get this done with. Thank you for, for bearing with me with through this bullshit. Goodbye.